Let me explain the mechanics and then we're going to continue. This is really important. And why it's so important is there's a big misconception about this disc and how it subluxates, how it herniates. You remember way back in anatomy class? <laughs> you remember those little things, those rivets that, that anchor the bone to the disc? They're called Sharpie fibers. Sharpie fibers are one of the strongest attachments in the body, similar to the ALL or the anterior longitudinal ligament in front of the spine. So think of it this way. You have the bone and it's riveted to this disc. Mm -hmm. The disc has two parts. So you have the nucleus, which is the center or the ball bearing. It's a pivotal ball bearing, which allows our six degrees of motion. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's riveted down by those Sharpie fibers. The reason I mentioned Sharpie fibers, the disc cannot herniate without a trauma misalignment. And the misalignment takes the nucleus or takes the disc with it. So if it misaligns back, the nucleus goes slightly forward, right? Mm -hmm. Goes slightly forward and then we have a slight tilting. Yeah? Okay. The weakest part of the disc is there. Mm -hmm. Posterior lateral, that's where we get the bulge or the irritation, mm -hmm. right? reason I'm saying this is the fix of this is repositioning, however that or whoever does it, mm -hmm. okay? And I'm saying that in the lumbar spine, there's only two or three degrees of rotation. Okay. So this ain't about twisting. <laughs> okay. I just want to be oh, clear, okay? okay? I just want to be <laughs> clear about it.